a message to all of my empaths out there. There is one thing that we need to stop doing. And if there is one thing that we need to stop doing, we need to stop extending our empathy to everyone. Especially people who have made it a point to let you know that they hate you. I know, I know, I know. We see people who are damaged. We see people who are in unfavorable situations and we think that we, we can care for these people. We can build these people. We can try to get through to these people. We can help these people. You got to stop that. You cannot do that for everybody because everybody does not want to be helped. There are so many people that are just too far gone in whatever situation that it is that they're going through and they do not want to change. And you would only be not only wasting your time trying to help save these people, but you're going to hurt yourself in the process because you're too damn trusting. Like I said, it's hard to let go because it is literally in our nature. Trust me, I know I am one. I am you. You are me. I get it. It's easy to try to psychoanalyze people. It's easy to understand where a person is coming from, especially if you were in that same predicament. It's easy to try to want to help people be better and to help people grow. And for the right person, that's an amazing thing. I think also with being an empath, we need to couple our empathy with discernment. Empathy and discernment. Our empathy needs to be amplified with discernment. We really have to look at the situation and we really have to analyze if a person is really in need of help and really wants to change or if a person just wants to drain you out of your energy. Because there are a lot of energy vampires out there that particularly prey on you as a light being. That particularly prey on you as an empath. And you got to stop feeding these narcs. There's just some people that just doing things for attention. Or there's some people, like I said, they're just bad people. And they are so far damn gone. You can't save them, nor do they want to be saved. So it is not your place to do that. Especially for people, like I said, who made it their point to say that they hate you. They don't care about you. They don't give a damn if you live or die. They don't care. Stop trying to sympathize with a person that says that they don't like you. Stop trying to get into their head and ask what happened to them in their childhood. If their mommy hurt them, if their daddy hurt them. No. If they made it a point to say that they don't like you, you do not reason with these people. There are just some people you cannot reason with. So don't even bother trying. Don't bother. You're wasting your time. And you might get caught up in a situation that you can't get yourself out of trusting the wrong people trying to help the wrong people as an empath you have a gift you have a power and yes you can enact great change but you need to be careful with who it is you extend your powers to who it is that you help with your powers it's very important to make that distinction it could save your life Everybody can't be saved. And for some people, the situations that they get in is their own karma. And you should know as a spiritual person to not get in the way of people's karma because you could get hit. If they got some karma that coming to them, it's coming for them. You can't stop it. Don't try to get in the way. Try to be a shield to them. You can't do it. You got to let that person get their karma. You got to. And there's no saving people. Some people just cannot be saved. And we need to learn to differentiate the savables from the unsavables. I promise you that information right there will save your life. Get your level of discernment up. Ask and pray for the spirit of discernment. Listen to yourself and protect yourself at all costs. Because it's real out here. It's real out here. All right. It's your girl, True Mystique, a.k.a. the Golden Enigma, a.k.a. the Real. And that was a word on empathy and protecting your space.